PD officers were shot, though, trying to disperse a similar crowd in the South Austin neighborhood. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe is live at Stroger Hospital, where those two officers are being treated right now. Good morning, Mugo. Good morning. So we've seen several officers out here earlier trying to show their support for those two officers, their colleagues who were shot. Now, according to police superintendent David Brown, the good news here is that those officers are expected to pull through. I want you to take a look at this video right now because this shows those officers outside the hospital. You can see them here applauding another officer who was walking out of the hospital holding his vest. It's not clear, though, if this is one of the officers that was shot, but here's what we know about the situation. Brown says the officers, one a commander and another a sergeant, were dispersing a crowd at 148 North Long when they heard shots and then felt pain. One officer was shot in the foot area, the other in the upper thigh. Now, this is just one example of what's been a long night for these officers responding to various shooting scenes from 5 p.m. on Friday to Sunday night at 11 p.m. We know at least 49 people have been shot. 10 of them died. Now, of course, we're still getting those numbers. We're still getting numbers from police officers, still trying to update our count. So one thing is for sure, those numbers I just told you about, 49 people shot, 10 died. That is likely to change. As for the office, officers that were shot, we know one of them was walking out of the hospital. The other, we're told, is staple. So it's likely that they're going to be okay, according to police superintendent David Brown. He also says at this point, it's still not clear how they were shot. He can't say for sure if they were targeted, but that's something that they're looking into at this time. Well, I've outside Stroger Hospital, Lugo Digway, CBS 2 News.